Now for these questions, we're adding mixed numbers. So we have 2 and 1 sixth plus 2 and 2 fifths. But we know that to add fractions, we need the denominators to be the same. Now the lowest common multiple of 6 and 5 is 30. So we can find equivalent fractions for 1 sixth and 2 fifths, which both have a denominator of 30. 6 times 5 is 30, 1 times 5 is 5, 5 times 6 is 30, and 2 times 6 is 12. So we can rewrite our question. Instead of 2 and 1 sixth, we can write 2 and 5 thirtieths, because that's equivalent to 1 sixth. And instead of adding 2 and 2 fifths, we can add 2 and 12 thirtieths, because that's equivalent to 2 fifths. Now, when we're adding mixed numbers, we start by adding the fractions. So we have 5 thirtieths plus 12 thirtieths. That gives us 17 thirtieths, and because that's not an improper fraction, we can write that in our answer box. So remember, when we add fractions, the denominator stays the same, and 5 plus 12 is 17. Now we add our whole numbers, and 2 plus 2 is 4. So our answer is 4 and 17 over 30. Now we have 2 and 3 sevenths plus 1 and a half. To add fractions, the denominators need to be the same, and the lowest common multiple of 7 and 2 is 14. So we can find equivalent fractions for 3 sevenths and 1 half, which have a denominator of 14. 7 times 2 is 14, and 3 times 2 is 6. 2 times 7 is 14, and 1 times 7 is 7. So instead of 2 and 3 sevenths, we can write 2 and 6 over 14. And instead of 1 and a half, we can write 1 and 7 over 14. Now we check to see if we can add our fractions. 6 over 14 plus 7 over 14 gives us 13 over 14. That's not an improper fraction, so we can write it in our answer box. The denominator stays the same, and 6 plus 7 is 13. Now, adding our whole numbers, 2 plus 1 is 3, so our answer is 3 and 13 over 14. So let's show fraction bars to see what we did here. We were adding, for this first question, 2 and 1 sixth plus 2 and 2 fifths. We changed 1 sixth into 5 thirtieths and 2 fifths into 12 thirtieths. So when we put our fractions together, that gave us 17 thirtieths. And then we just added our whole numbers, so 2 plus 2 is 4. And that gives us 4 and 17 thirtieths as our answer. Then for this question, we had 2 and 3 sevenths, and we were adding 1 and a half. We changed 3 sevenths into 6 fourteenths, and 1 half into 7 fourteenths, so we could put our fractions together to get 13 fourteenths, and we had 3 holes altogether, so that gave us our answer.